so the school opened up in 1981 and it started with x-ray and then a medical assistant and then they added ultrasound in 1990 and it was just um, general ultrasound and then to make our students a lot more available for other job openings they added vascular so that they were able to work in um, hospitals and facilities that offered both general and vascular studies. I came here in 2000 or 1999. I started school here. I was actually going to school for nursing and um, I got waitlisted uh, because the program was impacted and my mom was talking to um, one of the parents from someone I went to high school with and she came here and recommended this school so I came and checked it out and um, I enrolled and I was planning on going back to school for nursing but I've been here ever since so I graduated in 2001 and then came back in late 2002 and became an instructor I was teaching part-time sometimes full-time and then in 2009 I became the ultrasound director We do have students that come from San Diego. We've had students that come from Victorville, Temecula, Riverside, Corona. They've come and visit the school and when they've seen other schools, they like the process that we have in, ter in terms of how the admissions process is. It's well organized um, and it's a, it sets a good impression for them. And then they come in for orientation and they see how serious we are about the education here, that it's not just any other school that just wants them to come in here and we take their money. We really want them to do well because we're all techs. And so we understand what it takes to make it out in the field. And we know what our clinical sites are expecting. I have close personal relationships with them. I talk to them frequently and we communicate a lot about what their expectations are of our students. And we try to instill that in them so that they know what to expect when they go out to clinic. So the first eight weeks is introductory um, classes, medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, college math, and patient care. And that gives them the foundation so that when they move into the ultrasound portion of the program, they're well prepared for that. We try to make sure that when they get into mod two, they have that uh, basic knowledge, especially with medical term and the anatomy, so that they can easily transition into the ultrasound portion of the program. We currently have about five active instructors, including myself, and the relationships that we develop with our students is unique because we do get to know each other in the time that they're here um, and we become very close. We are very personable with our students. You know, we, we've developed relationships with them. You know, we've gotten to know them in the time that they're here. And so a lot of our teaching becomes more individualized by class. You know, it's not just, um, one size fits all. We try to cater to the, the class and their needs. A lot of times we try to uh, boost morale in the class by giving them treats if they do well on a test. Um, maybe we'll have a little potluck in, when they finish you know, certain stages of the program. Um, birthdays, our students become very close and they'll celebrate birthdays by bringing in treats for not only the students but also the instructors as well. The difficulty with learning this online is you don't get that hands-on feel for it. Every situation's different, every patient's different and with scanning a variety of students, um, your classmates that you do here, you get to see what that's like with the hands-on. You know, we we um, physically have to take the transducer and move it around. It's not a one-size-fits-all um, kind of scanning. It, everything is catered to the type of patient that you have. All different sizes, different builds. We're able to you know, use what we've learned so that we can adapt to situations in which there'll be 
um, a variety of different kinds of patients that you'll deal with. So learning on a variety of machines is very helpful because depending on the clinic or even the employer that you will work for, you have no idea what types of machines that they have. And it's not unusual for students to go and find jobs where they'll work on machines that we currently have, whether they are older or newer. One of the hardest things to pick up on is learning the machine. If you know how to scan, that's fine, but learning on a machine, sometimes it slows down your learning curve a little bit. So learning on a variety of machines gives you basic understanding no matter what machine you go to. We're able to give our students their clinical sites and provide that for them. Um, and any time that another clinical site becomes available in which they'll learn other things that maybe they're not getting at their current site, we'll move them so that they're able to get well-rounded, uh, hands-on training in as much as they can, OB, general, vascular. We try to make it so that they get an opportunity to scan everything that they've learned here. So we do offer tutoring for students who are studying for their boards, um, especially if they're highly motivated to do so. You know, we really want our students to actively study as well. You know, part of the, the uh, uh, passing for the boards is twofold. It comes from the instructors and it comes from the students. And so for students that need that uh, tutoring, we have them call us or, you know, set up appointments with us and we'll offer tutoring for them. And then of course, we expect them to go home and do a lot of that work so that when they come back for their next session, they'll be ready to move on. So I currently work at uh, St. Jude's um, Hospital in Fullerton. Um, I do vascular ultrasound there in the um, cardiology department. Um, and I work there per diem on top of working here full time, doing um, being the director and being an instructor here. Well, uh, usually we would have inpatients, outpatients that are scheduled for the day. Um, any ERs that come in, um, we'll do. Um, right now, because of the pandemic, it's been a lot busier. Um, you know, we have a lot more people coming into the ER. Um, we've been doing a lot more ICU patients. It's just been a lot more um, intense because of all the protective gear that we have to do, um, to use and to put on and making sure our machines are clean in between patients. But I'll basically take my studies for the day and I'll go from room to room doing my patients in their rooms. Um, and try to get them as done as much as quickly as I can because I still have studies that come in uh, during the day. In the lab currently, we are trying to uh, instill safety. And so everyone is um, required to wear masks in the lab. We clean all the machines and tables in between scanning rotations. And with every student, we try to distance them as best as possible. It is a little bit difficult when they're scanning each other, but we try to limit the rotations so that they're not with that particular person for a long period of time. I love our program because we do, well, one of the biggest benefits to it is that we do offer um, eight months of um, internship that we do provide to you. It's the longest internship of any school comparable to ours. Um, we have small classes uh, and it becomes very personable. The majority of our teachers still work in the field, including myself. And so we're able to not only teach you a lot of the information that you need to know to pass boards and information you'll need to know when you're out in the field, but we can give a lot of insight into experiences that we currently have of dealing with patients, some of the difficulties that you may face, what do you do in those situations? The other thing too is that, you know, uh, because the class sizes are um, a little bit on the smaller side, we're able to develop friendships with them afterwards, you know, and we can help them with finding jobs. And, you know, sometimes 
we give them advice about what to do for interviews and scanning interviews and they find that very helpful and they still know that they can always come back to us whenever they need something. If they need to practice more in the lab because they have an interview or if they need help with tutoring for you know the, the SPI, they know that they can always call us and we'll open our doors for them. We try to accommodate as best we can because you know we really want to see them succeed. We really want them to do well because their success is a reflection of, you know, not just our staff, but our school. And so we want them to, um, we want to keep up our good reputation out there.